What is up, Pokemon fans? Professor Prometheus Pine here, and welcome to another episode brought to you by the Pokemon Trainer School. In this episode, we are going to talk about Pokemon types, in particularly the resistance of each type. Alright, there are no prerequisites for this class, so let's get right into the lecture. Normal type Pokemon are resistant to only one type, that is Ghost, and actually, this is a type immunity. That means that normal type Pokemon are going to not be affected by any ghost type attack. I like to think of this simply as uh, normal Pokemon, normal humans, and the spirit realm. They're like two separate entities, so they just they don't affect each other. Next up is going to be fire. Fire resists fire, grass, ice, bug, steel, and fairy. Um, you'll find that within a lot of the Pokemon types, the type is going to resist itself. So in this case, fire resists fire. That makes sense. Fire can't damage fire, just makes it stronger. Grass fuels fire. Ice melts to fire. Bug melts to fire. Steel melts to fire. And fairies kind of also melt to fire, but not really. But fairies can't do anything really against fire. Fire destroys their homes. That's how I like to think of it. Basically, a lot of the types that fire is super effective against are going to not deal as much damage to it. Water, on the other hand, is going to be uh, resistant to fire, water, ice, and steel. So, again, we have the water on water. Just makes it more water. Ice with water, again, also kind of technically more water. Fire, you ever tried to use fire on water? Doesn't really work well. And same with steel, you just kinda, you're there in a boat or if you toss a car into the ocean, it just kinda, just kinda vibes. Alright, and next up we have the electric type which is going to resist electric, flying, and steel. So, again, electric on electric. With flying, you have that bird again. It's flying along, tries to headbutt a lightning bolt, doesn't end well. And steel also doesn't really do anything to electricity. Electricity just kind of runs through steel. For grass, grass is going to resist water, electric, grass, and ground. So, grass on grass again. Water tries to attack grass, but grass just grows stronger. Same with electricity, kind of. It hits grass, and you can think of the grounding effect for that. And then ground. Grass is just kind of on ground. Just sits there peacefully, waiting to ruin the day of, well, ground types everywhere. Finally, ice. Ice actually is the type with the least resistance, only resisting itself. So, uh... Yeah, you add ice to ice, you get more ice. Moving on to the fighting type. Fighting type Pokemon resist bug, rock, and dark types. Now this is actually, I believe, the first type that doesn't resist itself. But from what we can see, you can think of bugs flying around a fighting type Pokemon and them getting angry and just swatting the fly. For rock, fighting types, you know, you just punch a rock. I recommend doing that, kids. Punch a rock. And finally, dark. Villains everywhere try to use their ooga boogas to ruin the days of the normal humans everywhere, but you have them superheroes, they just punch. That's all they do. And because of that, they are not swayed by the dark antics of dark types. The next type is poison which is going to resist grass, fighting, poison, bug, and fairy. Again, we have poison on poison. You can think of trying to use an organic organism against a poison. It doesn't really work well. That can kind of be applied to really all of that. All bug, fairy, and grass, and fighting, really. So yeah, those types against something that is toxic doesn't really end well. And finally, we have Ground, which is going to resist Electric, Poison, and Rock. 
Now, with the case of electric, it actually is immune completely to damage from electric types because it grounds the electrical currents. With the rock, you throw a rock at a tectonic movement, I guess. Can't really throw it at a plate, but throw it at any sort of... You throw a rock at a mountain, doesn't really work. And for poison, poison just comes in, tries to soak into the ground, and ground is like, yeah, nah, I'm not going to deal with that. And uh, I'm going to ignore you. And it does. Flying type Pokemon are the next on this list, being resistant to grass, fighting, ground, and bug. It does have a complete immunity to the ground typing. Because basically a bird flies around in the sky, and ground is like, I'm going to attack you. And then it does an earthquake, and the bird's like, did you just hear that? Because I'm too busy being a bird in the air. Same thing can kind of be considered with grass, except grass has trees, which jut out into the sky and can at least damage a bird. Fighting types are similar in that they just kind of swat around, and they don't really ever hit the bird, and flying types eat bugs, so... Bugs can't really do anything. They try to damage it, but if you ever seen a caterpillar try to take out an eagle, it doesn't end well. Alright, psychic types are going to resist psychic and fighting. So again, big brain versus big brain equals a very long, drawn-out battle. And they resist fighting, because brain over brawn. Bug-type Pokemon actually are going to resist grass, fighting, and ground. Grass and ground are kind of, you can think, vegetation. Bugs eat vegetation, so they don't really have a good defense against these hungry insects. And then fighting. Basically, you ever try to kill a cockroach, you crush it, it just pops back up. You crush it, and it just pops back up. And really, you're just annoying it, and it's annoying you. So, it's a long drawn out battle of annoyance. Rock type Pokemon are going to resist normal, fire, poison, and flying. Basically us normal people who try to punch a rock, that doesn't end well. The rock tends to win. Fire tries to burn a rock and rock's just like, nah, that only makes me stronger and liquid. Poison tries to damage a rock and rock is like, I'm solid and also not alive, so YOLO. And flying, a bird birds don't win against rocks. You know, they try to swoop down, attack it with their beak, and rock, rock wins. Ghost types are going to resist normal, fighting, poison, and bug, being completely immune to both normal and fighting. Basically, with fighting, they try to punch the ghost, and that obviously doesn't work, and normal people, again, are on two totally separate planes of existence. Poison, you can't really poison a ghost. It doesn't really work like that. And bugs. You know, bugs are on that separate plane. Dragon type Pokemon are going to be resistant against fire, water, electric, and grass. You can think of this basically as those are kind of the emulent elements of dragons. Kind of. I mean, they're core elements, and dragons being all mystical and dope as they are, are just, I mean, they resist those. They are part of their mystical being. And the final three types on this list are going to be Dark, Steel, and Fairy. We'll start with Dark, which is resistant to Psychic, Ghost, and Dark. Uh, we have that Dark and Dark again. Psychic actually does not affect Dark at all. All the mites of the mind in the world cannot damage an evildoer. And ghosts, it, it falls into that henchman category that we talked about in the last episode with the type weaknesses. Basically, henchmen try to fight against their overlords and that's a good way to uh, die. Hence them being ghosts. Steel types. Okay, now this is a lot of resistances. Steel-type Pokemon resist normal, grass, ice, poison, flying, psychic, bug, rock, dragon, steel, and fairy. With this, it's going to be actually totally 
immune to poison. You can't poison steel. And if you've ever played a video game like The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, or anything, any sort of RPG like that, you can poison your weapons. Your weapons don't die. They just sit there with poison on them. Normal, us normal people cannot punch through steel. Grass can also not punch through steel. That's going to be a common trend here. Ice doesn't really, it gets wrecked by steel, so it can't punch through steel. Flying, birds, also, no punch steel. Even the big brain psychics, you know, you'd think you'd be able to bend a spoon with your mind, but in the end, spoon bends you. Bug and rock break to steel. Dragon, with this, I like to think of perhaps a dragon facing a knight. You know, if you minus the fire breath from the... There really isn't any sort of thing the dragon can do against the steel plate armor of the knight. And fairy against steel. Uh, in this case, fairies can't beat scissors. I don't know. And steel resists steel. The last type is going to be fairy, which resists fighting. Bug, Dragon, and Dark being completely immune to Dragon. Fairy's mystical might beats the magical prowess of a Dragon. Dark evildoers and combatants alike, they just they try to punch a Fairy and Fairy's like, nah, not dealing with that. And Bugs? Bugs don't really want to hurt Fairies. They're, they're kind of the same size, so they're Buds. So they kind of pull some punches whenever they attack. Alright guys, that has been the type resistances of all of the 18 types within the Pokemon world. If you liked the video, click that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all of my new content. I will catch you all next lecture. Professor Prometheus Pine, out!